We celebrate the 25th anniversary of Vocal C10 Pro in this edition of the Tennis Warehouse Racket Review. A favorite option amongst advanced level players, the C10 Pro brings plush comfort and powerful plow through to every shot. The 16 by 19 string pattern offers great access to spin, provides excellent ball pocketing, and connects the player to the ball like only a classic racket can. Vocal's twin absorber handle system adds comfort without sacrificing feel. For 2022, the C10 Pro is available in both the inline black cosmetic as well as a limited edition yellow 25th anniversary version. It's a trip down memory lane for me because I used to use the C10 Pro as my racket of choice back in the day. And from the very first serve I hit with this racket, I remembered why I loved it. Big time serves, huge plow through. I feel like I'm getting a few extra miles per hour when I'm going for a big first serve. Getting a nice bite from the string bed so my spin serves are working. I was hitting my slice serve wide, super heavy, get some nice action on that one too. So great serve and volley option for me. I love playing doubles with this racket. I actually used this racket back when we did our Friday Doubles League uh, challenge here at Tennis Warehouse. I was using the C10 Pro there and it's a great doubles offering just because it's so solid at the net. Tons of control and feel for those drop volleys, etc. And then from the baseline, it's a pretty lively racket I find for a uh, player's racket. So I string it up. Um, usually I'm down 52 on the high end, 48 on the low end. 55 is about where I go with the C10 Pro, just to dial in a bit more, help my forehand drop inside the lines. I think my favorite shot to hit with this is a slice backhand. Tons of feel on that shot, nice bite from the string bed, and I can really get that plow through to hit a nice, heavy knife, knifing slice. Here today to discuss the new update to Vocal C10 Pro. Really enjoyed this play test. I would imagine that Granville, I'm gonna reflect a lot of what Granville would say. This is a scalpel of a racket, very traditional beam construction, 20 millimeter flat beam. Uh, it is a soft beam as well. I think it's got a 62 RA on it. It's about a 325 gram frame. Overall, this there wasn't anything I didn't like about it, including the shape of the palette, the feel of the grip, everything just really worked for my game overall. My favorite shot to hit was probably the serve. The heavy racket gives me cheap pace and effectiveness on my serve. If I struggled anywhere um, on the court with it, it might be my one-handed backhand. It was just a little harder with a, a heavy racket to get through with any kind of racket head speed. But this racket's super comfortable, very obedient, very predictable. And I do agree with Chris that it is livelier than a 20 millimeter beam with a 62 RA would kind of portray on paper. So overall, just a great play test, a great traditional player stick. If you're looking for that yield traditional feel, this is a great option. Getting out on court with this update or this uh, newer cosmetic of the C10 Pro, um, I really loved it from the first strike of the ball. Um, just the classic specs of this racket, thin beam, um, really just ultra plush, comfortable feel. Um, I'll bring back one of the Granville sayings, it's like a hot knife through butter. It's just silky smooth, especially on the slice and from the baseline. Um, Recently hitting the C10 Evo, this racket has a very similar feel. Um, this one's just more beefed up, more solid, more plow through. So I really like the specs of this racket in stock form. Uh, really not much need to customize here, but uh, just getting a ton of feel, precision, ultra comfortable on the arm, kind of like what Chris talked about. I could string this racket up uh, a little bit higher to get a little bit more control from that open pattern and it's still ultra plush and comfortable. You can put pretty much any string in here and it's gonna be arm friendly. So just really like how it felt from the baseline on serves, easy spin, pretty good power on the flat serve and then up at net. It was just uh, very touchy feely, really good on the, on the touch and the feel shot. So really love this update. This was a fun play test for me. The specs are sort of in my wheelhouse, but not completely. As you guys might know, I tend to gravitate towards rackets that are a bit stiffer and I really like board like feelings when I'm hitting the ball. So this racket brought just the opposite, tons of feel and lots of flexibility on impact, which is great. And I think my arms appreciated that change for a bit. Um, on the baseline, I did struggle a little bit. I felt like the sweet spot felt a little small and unforgiving for me, but where I absolutely loved this racket was at night. It actually made me want to be a serve and volleyer player. I'm doing my best to try and get up there and finish the points off at the net, but definitely one where I was constantly trying to come in, finish the points at net because I felt so in command of my volleys and I honestly didn't think I could do any wrong if I was hitting volleys with this C10 Pro. Um, all in all, just a really great option, especially for players out there who like heavier rackets that are looking for something arm friendly. I thought the weight of this racket was well disguised. It swung nice and fluid and was all in all a fun play test. 
We had an opportunity to play test this racket with a bunch of different string setups, but our favorite was Vocal Cyclone at 55 pounds. To learn more about this racket and many others, please visit us at Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only.